the age of rebirth on many levels. The computer was in existence, but only researchers owned them. Yet some are deep in the Department of Defense, a new medium for communications was under development. Camelot War and Social Revolution characterized this decade. But on October 22, 1962, President Kennedy gave this address to the nation. Good evening, my fellow citizens. This government, as promised, has maintained the closest surveillance of the Soviet military buildup on the island of Cuba. Within the past week, unmistakable evidence has established the fact that a series of offensive missile sites is now in preparation on that imprisoned island. Nuclear fear gave the DOD incentive to push on with the project that would become the Internet, and during the last four months of 1969, one of the nodes on what was to be the Internet went wide each month. This decade saw the rise of bad style, disco music, and the pullout of U.S. forces from Vietnam. Of course, it also saw the beginnings of today's email, thanks to the work of Ray Tomlinson at BBN. By 1973, email comprises 75% of network traffic, and a glitch at Harvard on Christmas Day causes the network to go down. In 1974, Telenet becomes the first commercial online business. By the end of the decade, satellites carry online signals and emoticons go into use. An actor is president, music goes TV, and the computer goes home this decade with the advent of the desktop PC. Several more networks come into being this decade, while the oldest network of them gets split into two portions. In 1984, the development of domain name services means that remembering IP addresses becomes simplified with the usage of symbolic words. By the end of the decade, the backbone begins to be put into place. The internet now cruises at T1 speed, and the number of hosts online breaks 100,000. A new generation came of age this decade, experiencing a dynamic economy, a war in the Middle East, the president impeached, and an election that never seemed to end. While this all went on, there was a revolution of information and technology thanks to Tim Berners-Lee with his development of the World Wide Web. In 1993, the White House becomes just one of a million online hosts, the first graphical web browser is released, and people begin to surf the internet in droves. The following years found the internet in a phase of rapid growth. In 94, the World Wide Web becomes the most popular usage of the internet. In 95, real audio provides a mechanism for delivering multimedia over the web, and groups push through a ban on internet pornography called the Communications Decency Act. Later, the Supreme Court strikes down this law. Between 96 and 99, the web continues to add hosts and grow, while e-commerce becomes popular with businesses and consumers. So far, we've seen fears of a computer crashing en masse with older systems not being configured for the year 2000. The web has grown to over 1 billion active pages. In February of 2000, a massive denial of service attack crippled several of the most popular websites. A new service arose and crashed this decade as well in Napster. This service opened a rather extensive debate on the right of intellectual property owners to collect money for the distribution of their material online. A tragic event in September 2001 causes some of the highest network traffic seen to date as millions of people worldwide sought out news after four commercial planes are hijacked and crashed into several U.S. targets. The focal point of these attacks is the World Trade Center in New York's Manhattan District. The future is not written yet. It is only limited by your imagination. So ask yourself, what can your internet do for you today? Thank you.